The Rambakanoe Forest Reserve is located in close proximity to Hambehela, Kabragala, Nilgala Manikavela and the Mulgahausa Reserves. The area is rich in biodiversity and historical value and is believed to be the location of King Buddha Dasa's herbal garden which is famous for its indigenous medicine. Attempts to give away lands embedded in this ecosystem dates back to the 1990s. Between 1990 and 1993, attempts had been undertaken to clear land in Nilgala, believed to be the site of the herbal garden, to pave way for pineapple cultivation. But such efforts had been called off amidst stiff objection from the public. A proposal had been tabled before the Cabinet on the 12th of December 2006 to give away 65,000 acres of land from the Rambakan Oya to Nilgala covering 11 divisional secretariats to commence sugar cultivation. 300 acres alone had been sought from Nilgala for the construction of a sugar factory. But that project too was defeated by the people. In August last year, the executive board of the Sri Lanka Mahavali Authority had approved a proposal to give away lands from the Rambakanoya Forest Reserve to a private company. However, this was to be carried out under the condition that it does not damage the forest cover of the area. Cabinet approval had also been granted under several guidelines of the Central Environmental Authority to release 2,750 acres of land for a private investor to commence maize cultivation. This was done under the condition that water bodies and waterways in the forest reserve must remain untouched and that the existing forest cover must be preserved and improved. However, a large area in the forest reserve has been cleared recently, flouting these guidelines. Farmers point out that forest lands and farmlands have also come under the threat of being grazed by large-scale businessmen. We are engaged in cultivation at the Galvalayaya Reserve. The Mahavali Authority had forcefully destroyed our rubber and cashew cultivations that we have been carrying out for several years. They have sold off these lands to businessmen in Colombo. It is only the mountain ranges that have been left unsold. The Mahavali Authority is selling these lands to large-scale businessmen and leaving the farmers helpless while strengthening these investors. <laughs> I only have a plot of land in which I can reap a paddy harvest of 30 kilos, but I have received title deed for one and a half acres of land. <laughs> Elephant fences have been erected through the center of the village. Elephants encroach into the village when they lose their habitats. Large-scale businesses with ties to powerful political figures are grabbing all these lands. They do not care about the difficulties faced by farmers. <laughs> News First was able to identify many of the problems faced by the people in these villages in our few days here. To find solutions to these problems, News First will be hosting another phase of the gum at the Pradeshya Mandapya at the bunt of the Rambakanoya. Officials from the Wildlife Conservation Department, Mahavali Development Authority, Central Environment Authority, the GA's office and even those from the local political setup will be there to provide solutions to the issues faced by the people.